Hey guys, it's November the 24th, 2024, and I hope everybody's been having a great Sunday so far today. I just wanted to come on today and do a quick video and uh, just talk with you guys really quick. Um, and first, I just want to say thank you to everybody for all the kind words, the uplifting words in uh, yesterday's video and the comments. Uh, there were really nice comments in there yesterday, a bunch of them. Had a couple of uh, not so nice ones, but you know that's neither here nor there. It's gonna happen, <laughs> and I already knew to expect that. That's why I said in the video yesterday, you know, please don't attack me, um, because I was being completely raw and honest with you guys. And any time I do that, somebody's got to hop on and say gross stuff. I mean, it, it's whatever. Um, I'm not even gonna entertain that. But uh, like I said, thank you so much for all the kind words uh, from you guys. Um, and there were a lot of people there, too, you know, saying, hey, uh, I'm going through the same thing today. Um, and that's why I wanted to talk about it. You know, as much as I didn't want to discuss the video that I did yesterday, the reason that I came on and discussed it is because I know that there probably would be other people out there feeling the same way that I did. And uh, I just wanted to let them know, you're not alone, you know. Uh, I'm going on almost three years of sobriety now, and those thoughts still pop up in my mind. And uh, just because they pop up doesn't mean we have to necessarily act on them. And every day that we are sober is another win for us. Uh, you know, we have to take this day by day. We really do. Um, and some days, like I was saying in yesterday's video, some days are way easier than others. There's days where I don't even think about it one bit. I mean, the day just goes right on by. And I don't think about it at all. And there will be, you know, multiple days where that will happen in the, in a row where I won't even think about it. You know, I, I think about when I'm talking on here, when I'm talking with you guys every single day. But as far as, you know, having any desire or uh, thoughts of running off to a hotel room and drinking, binge drinking, I mean, that doesn't happen all the time. And yesterday was just one of those days. And um, I was just in a funky mood yesterday. Uh, I know another reason why, because uh, yesterday, morning um, my daughter is in nursing school right now and she had to leave to go to clinicals yesterday morning and at 6 a.m. she decided to let her dog go out to the bathroom and she slammed the back door which our bedroom is right beside our kitchen and to get out to the backyard where we let our dogs go to the bathroom you have to come through the kitchen and when she went out she slammed the door woke me up it was like 5 55 in the morning and uh, it just started my day off wrong. I, I couldn't go back to sleep after that, so I went ahead and got up yesterday. And uh, I was just kind of in a funky mood from that point forward. I got woke up at 5.55 on a Saturday morning. I was just in a grouchy mood yesterday. But today, <laughs> I slept in until like 11 o'clock this morning. Um, last night, I was watching TV. Uh, I fell asleep. At, you know, I don't remember what time it was I fell asleep. It was pretty early when I fell asleep. But I left the TV going last night uh, while I was sleeping. It was on YouTube. And when I woke up, um, something that I'm highly interested in, which is pyramids, uh, there was a show playing about uh, pyramids on there. And I kind of opened my eyes, saw what was, what was happening on the television, and the next thing you know, I was up for like three hours watching television last night because I found it so captivating. Um, there was a... Uh, they, they had found like a sarcophagus that was covered with a huge granite stone and these guys were lifting it off with jacks and putting metal rods and stuff and they slid the whole top of the coffin off and then they pulled out this uh, mummy out of there and um, they were doing like x-rays on the skeleton and man i was so captivated i could not go back to sleep and uh i don't remember what time i i eventually did fall back asleep but um I woke up at like 11 o'clock this morning and I woke up late and I never sleep that late but um I think it was good for me uh, I got I caught up on some sleep that I needed and um, I've been in a fine mood today everything's been completely fine I was a little bit tired but um you know what I did today is something that I rarely ever do and um, actually I don't I can't remember the last time I did this now I'll, I'll do it uh, when my kids get home from school my son has a PlayStation and um my youngest son does i'm not a video game player i just don't like to play video games never really have uh i play uh i played games when i was younger like nintendo and stuff like that but i just never have been a big gamer it just isn't something i'd, I'd rather be outside but today um i don't know my son has been on a kick playing his game lately and um 
I signed them up to get online. Uh, we, could, we didn't let them play online for a year. And uh, I finally said, let's go ahead and set it up. And I, I, I went ahead and set them up for a month. And uh, we've been playing a bunch of his games online. He's got the new Star Wars game. I can't remember the name. It's Star Wars, like, Frontier or something. Um, but we were playing that and uh, playing some Call of Duty and stuff like that on there. And I just, I've spent the whole entire day playing video games with my son. Um, and it's been really, really nice. Uh, it's just been the two of us. My wife's been uh, doing things around the house, like uh, getting rid of old clothes and just kind of doing a deep clean on some stuff that she's been wanting to catch up on for a long time. And I, I've, I've given her that opportunity just to, she go do her stuff. Uh, because usually on the weekends, you know, we all, uh, you know, I try to get us to spend as much time together as we possibly can as a family. And uh, it's something that I just want to do, um, especially since this last time when I got sick. I, you know, I realized I really need to spend as much time with my family as I possibly can while I'm here. And um, j today I just decided to go play video games with my son. He was in his bedroom playing with Legos. And I said, you want to go play video games? And he said, yep. And we went downstairs, and we've been playing video games all day, since basically since I woke up. Uh, I think I'm on, like, my fourth cup of coffee at this point now. Uh, I'm a little bit jacked up from the caffeine. Um, but it's been a really, really good day today. And uh, I did take a break here and there. I, I, we had an old rotisserie chicken that my wife bought on Friday, and uh, we've eaten all the meat, basically, off of it. And I don't waste a thing in our house. Uh, as a matter of fact, I save... Anytime that I peel carrots or cut the tops off of onions or peel the skins off of onions or cut the tops off of celery or the bottoms, I save all those scraps in a Ziploc bag in my freezer. And I, I've been doing this for years. When I was in the restaurant industry, uh, this is what we did. I made my guys save all the scraps from their vegetables so we didn't have to use um, good vegetables uh, to make stocks and stuff like that. Cause we always made stock in the restaurant industry. Well, in my restaurant, I did. And uh, we would make gallons of it at a time and every day. We put stock in everything, um, especially like risotto and stuff like that. We were making soup. We used stock. But um, uh, today, I took that... Um, I took that stock, I mean, that, that, that rotisserie and pulled all the meat off that was left. There wasn't much left, but I was able to salvage what I could and uh, went ahead and threw the rest of that rotis the bones and everything into my uh, pressure cooker with all of the vegetable scraps I've been saving up this week. And I'm making a stock right now and I'm going to be making a, a chicken vegetable soup um, after I get off of here. As a matter of fact, well, I'm going to be doing, finishing that up. Uh, it's almost done in the pressure cooker right now making that stock and um, I'm just gonna make it some soup for dinner. It's really chilly here today uh, It's been chilly here for the past uh, few days and um, This morning when I first woke up before we started playing video games I was actually watching another youtuber. That's a meteorologist and he was saying that um We've got like some really, really cold weather headed for the East Coast right now. Uh, there's like some low pressure areas up around Canada or something like that that's pushing the cold uh, air down here. And from what I saw, it uh, looks like there's going to be some snow um, up around from like North Carolina up along the East Coast. Uh, for any of you guys up there, let me know if you guys see any snow. I'd be really interested to see if you guys are getting any. I hope that we don't get snow. I don't like snow. <laughs> and the thing is around here is that that no one here is used to driving in snow and when we do get it uh, you know most of the time we get ice and when we do get ice on the roads people don't know how to drive and there are tons of accidents um, not to mention the trees here aren't uh, they're just not weathered for that kind of uh, stuff and when we get freezing rain it, it, it actually hangs out it, it'll stick to the, the branches and really to those pine needle bunches on the trees and I mean you you can look behind me. Uh, uh, where I live, it's it's mainly pine trees um, here in South Carolina. We have a lot of uh, hardwoods like oak and stuff like that here too, but for the most part, it's pine. And uh, when that we get freezing rain, it really hangs out in those bunches. And you can look at it back there and see the way that the pine needles kind of bunch up. When they get a bunch of ice collected on them, they will hang and they'll snap and break. And it takes power lines down and all kinds of stuff. It just creates a huge mess around here. So I hope that we don't get it. Um, but it looks like we're going to have a pretty chilly winter this year. So 
I'm sitting here running my mouth talking about all kinds of stuff that doesn't pertain to the subject that I talk about on here, but uh, I just figured I'd just talk about that really quick. Um, you guys know how I like to talk. But uh, for the most part, guys, today's been a great day. And, um, you know, like I said, uh, we live each day, day by day. Yesterday was a tough day. I made it through yesterday. I didn't drink. And for any of you guys uh, that made it through this weekend without drinking, congratulations and kudos to you. And I'm proud of you for doing that. Some days can be tough. And there's a lot of you out there who aren't in the same situation as I am. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a rather lucky guy. I've got my family and I've got a lot of support here. I know there's other people out there who don't have this. And um, I, you know, I'm very blessed to be in the position that I'm in and I'm aware of that. Um, and uh, you know, some, like I said, some days, uh, they're just bad days. And yesterday was a bad day. But once again, I, I made it through it. And for any of you guys out there who made it through it, congratulations again i am so very proud of you and uh let's do it again tomorrow we can do this we absolutely can if you get that craving just give yourself a little bit of time go chug a bottle of water or carbonated water or something just sit down just just try to find something else to think about for a little bit and, and if you need to sit in it then sit in it for a little bit think about it don't act on it. Remember why you got sober. Think about all the bad things that would come along if you were to drink. Think about how your family and friends would be disappointed. And uh, do you want to deal with that? Do you want to deal with that guilt and that shame that comes along when we relapse? Because we do. We feel so guilty, so shameful when we relapse. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it because it's part of the process. I relapsed over a hundred times. I tried quitting so many times and I would get to two weeks, whatever, and then I'd relapse again because I thought that I had it under control. Each time I told myself, oh, you got it this time. You can just drink three or four beers. And you know what? That first night I would do it. And I would be so proud of myself. I thought that I had figured it out this time. Only to go back the next day or two days later and I was right back at the liquor store doing the same thing all over again. Waking up the next morning, throwing up, feeling horrible, hating my life. Wondering why I'm still stuck in this position and why I can't get out of this hole. And uh, for any of you guys out there that are watching this, there is hope. If you're struggling right now, you've been drinking and you can't stop, there is hope. I thought that I would never be able to get out of the position that I was in. And here I am now. And, uh, you know, like I said, I, I still struggle. But it's about staying strong, trying your best just to go day by day. And, you know, I think at this time of the year is actually the easiest time of the year to stay sober, although it's the holiday season, and I know that can be tough. There's a lot of commercials on TV. There's all kinds of displays of alcohol all over the place. You go into the grocery store and there's, you know, big stacks of Budweiser with Christmas stuff all over it. And, you know, that can be kind of tough to walk past. But, you know, at the end of the day, it, it gets dark super early now. You know, it's getting dark at 5, 30, 6 o'clock. And the day is over at that point. The summer times are the hardest for me because the day goes by so long and it's nice and warm and... I really associate drinking with warm weather and playing around in the water and kayaking and just being outside. And it, it can be kind of tough sometimes, especially when I'm trying to do something outside, like going camping. Those are the times I really, really had a good time drinking. And uh, those are the positive experiences that I have with alcohol. Now, I've got negative experiences from going camping um, while I was drinking. I remember one time I went on a camping trip with a friend of mine up in the mountains on the Chattooga River. And uh, we were camping up there for a week. And I got so plastered the night before that we left. Uh, I barely could drive. And um, my anxiety was through the roof. And I was driving nothing but back roads the, the whole way home. Well, my buddy sent me a text message because he drove himself. And it was a three and a half hour drive for us to get back home. He was driving himself back to uh, where we live. And uh, he sent me a text message um, and said, there's a roadblock my heart rate went through the roof. I was so afraid because I'd already been drinking that morning. And uh, if I knew if I blew, I was going to get arrested for a DUI. And um, I pulled over at like a Hardee's or something and sat there for like four hours um, just trying to let that stuff subside. 
and finally got back on the road and drove home and I'll just never forget how bad my anxiety was that whole ride home I was so afraid to drive and every time I got to a stoplight it was like I felt like I was gonna pass out it used to happen to me all the time but that time it was horrible and I told myself I would never do that again and guess what I did it just shows how uh, cunning alcohol can be but guys, like I said, everything's great today. I hope you're having a great day today. And I hope that you remain sober over this weekend and especially today. And until tomorrow, I will see you all then. Um, as a matter of fact, I just got a reminder uh, telling me that my uh, virtual appointment with my doctor is uh, at 840 tomorrow morning. So um, I actually have a dentist appointment at 8 and then I have my virtual appointment at 840 and then I've got something else I have to do tomorrow and I can't remember what that is and then I have to go get my kids from school. So I got a pretty full day tomorrow. But when I uh, do tomorrow's video, I'm going to let you guys know what the doctor tells me. My fingers are crossed and I'm going to be praying tonight that um, everything's looking good with my tips and that I don't have to go back into the hospital and have anything done. I really, really do not want to go through that again. So... Guys, pray for me. I really would appreciate it. And uh, let's see how tomorrow works out. Um, I had the CAT scans done on Friday. Uh, let's hope that they turned out okay. And um, guys, love y'all so much. Until tomorrow, I will see y'all then. Y'all have a great rest of your night.